Hello, my name is Emily and I am a librarian here at the Brownsburg Public Library in Brownsburg, Indiana. Welcome to Storytime Shorts. Friends, thank you for joining me for this episode of Storytime Shorts. Our goal is to share some fun things to do with your little one that also helps support early learning, all geared towards kids ages zero to five and their caregiver. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. The story time train is pulling into the station. Today we are going to celebrate trains. I've got a counting rhyme and two train songs to share with you, as well as four book suggestions and an activity idea. As always, there is a table of contents in the description of this video that you can use to quickly skip or revisit any of these activities. One thing I always do when I see a train go by is count how many cars are attached. Let's do that with our first rhyme today. This is called clickety clack. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Here comes the train on the railroad track. Clickety clun, clickety clun. Here comes the engine number one. Clickety-clue, clickety-clue, here is the coal car, number two. Let's attach it to the engine. All right. Clickety-clee, clickety-clee, here's the box car, number three. Good job, we're attaching it on. Okay. Clickety-clore, clickety-clore, here comes the gondola car number four all right chug it right along clickety clive clickety clive here comes the cattle car number five all right our train is really long clickety clicks clickety clicks here comes the hopper car number six all right, clickety clevin, clickety clevin. Here's tank car number seven. Can we put up seven fingers? There you go. All right, clickety clate, clickety clate. Little red caboose is number eight. That's right. We'll add our little red caboose. And can we do eight fingers? Five, six, seven, eight fingers. There you go. All right, last time. Clickety clack, clickety clack. There goes the train on the railroad track. Choo choo. Bye, train. Grown ups, toddlers love playing word games, repeating rhymes, singing songs, reciting chants, rhyming words, even if they turn out to be nonsense words help them understand that language is made up of strings and patterns of phonemes or individual sounds. Being able to hear and play with these in oral language develops skills that help reading written language later. Can you see how the wheels on the engine are connected by arms? Can you pretend that your arms are like train wheels? We'll go chugga, 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 chugga. Nice job. So now our next song uh, is called Little Red Train Going Down the Track. And you can roll your arms along. Maybe your train goes around in a circle or through your house as you sing. I'm gonna sit right here. But this is a fun song from musician Kathy Reed Naiman that we're gonna sing. Okay, so get your, your wheels ready. Okay. There's a little red train going down the track. Look at the wheels go clickety clack and the train wheels are rolling, 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 rolling and the train wheels are rolling, rolling right along. There's an engine in front and a caboose in the back. Look at those wheels go clickety clack and the train wheels are rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling and the train wheels are rolling, rolling right along. The little train goes to the top of the hill. It goes very slow, but it gets there still. 
it gets to the top and it goes back down look those wheels go round and round and the train wheels are rolling 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 and the train wheels are rolling rolling right along nice job do you remember what the last car on a train is called this one right here it's a caboose so this last song is all about that little red caboose. There's some repeating words in this song that are really fun to sing, so join me when you catch on. I brought my ukulele for this one. Friends, I've got lots of great train books here at the library, and I picked out four to tell you about today. The first one I had to mention because it is a classic train book. It is called Freight Train by Donald Cruz. And you might notice that these train cars look familiar. That is what our um, flannel board is made from. It's, it's based on the cars that are in this book. And it's just a really simple book. It goes through the different colors of cars. Train runs across this track. A red caboose at the back. Orange tank car next. Yellow hopper car. So it goes through and then you see the train pull out and go through the countryside. So if you get a chance to read this one, I highly recommend it. The next book I'd like to suggest is called Chugga Chugga Choo Choo by Emma Garcia. This one in our collection is in a board book format, but it does also come as a regular book. And this one, Chugga Chugga Choo Choo, here comes the train. Clickety clack on the track going to, you'll notice that the train cars are numbered one, two, three, four. Where do you think that train car is going? <gasps> to the seashore. Do you see it? Let me see going up along. I see some animals there. I see a crab and a seagull. And what is this? It's an ice cream stand. It says we can taste the ice cream. Chugga chugga choo choo. Here comes the train. Clickety clack on the track going to... Look, the train has picked up a passenger. Do you remember that passenger from the previous page? There it is. So you'll see as it keeps going all around to the forest, you can hear the birds sing. So this book, despite being very simple, has a lot going on. There's counting, there are um, different sceneries, and it talks about at least four of the different senses. Um, so you can hear the birds sing, you can taste the ice cream, so pick up this one the next time you get a chance. Our next train book is called Snakes on a Train. This is by Katherine Dennis. And can you see all those snakes on the train? There's a snake conductor and snake passengers. And what sound does a snake make? Hiss. That's right. So we're going to get to say hiss quite a few times. So the conductor takes the tickets. It's the snakes all slither on, slither, slither. The tracks are checked. The whistle blows. It's time to move along. 
Goes the sound of the train. Oh, I hear it going. Look at them. The train leaves the station as the gears begin to grind. The switcher pulls the handle and the cars slide down the line. How does the train go? Hiss. Goes the sound of the train. And you'll get to see all the interesting things that the snakes get to see. You get to do lots of hissing. The last book I'd like to suggest is called Mr. Complain Takes the Train. This is by Wade Bradford and S. Britt. And there's Mr. Complain. What do you think he's like? I think he might be a little grumpy. So Mr. Complain takes the train and Mr. Complain has something to complain about all the time. So the conductor says, all aboard. Mr. Complain says, this train is loud. Oh, he's holding his ear. Chugga, 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 chugga. Chugga. Next stop, Loop de Loop Station. Woo, woo, woo. It's too happy in here. Oh, he's too, too upset about people being happy. And then out here it says goodbye. Boo, boo, boo. It's too sad out there. Chug it, chug it, chug. And so you'll see the kind of trip that Mr. Complain takes. This is a really fun book. There's lots of things to look at in the pictures, as well as uh, we'll get to move the book around. You have to look at the pictures in different ways as the book goes on. So that is Mr. Complain Takes the Train. So in our song earlier, we made some train whistle noises. Remember we said, but you can make your own train whistle using items that you probably have around the house. So gather a cardboard tube. I used a short one, but you could also experiment with a longer paper towel sized one. You'll also need a uh, circle of wax paper that your grown-up can help you cut out. And you want it to be a little bit bigger than the end of the tube. And you'll also need a rubber band. So the first thing that you can do is you can decorate your paper towel tube using any craft materials you have. Um, remember that one end will be covered with the wax paper. This is what mine looked like. So make sure that your picture is toward the end of one side. Um, but you can use markers, you can use paint, you can put stickers on it, whatever you like. And then put your wax paper circle around the top and cover it with the rubber band so it stays on there real well. Then ask your grown-up to carefully poke a small hole right underneath where the wax paper is. You can hardly see it, but it's right there on mine. I covered it with some paint. And now your whistle is ready. So you'll take the open end and you'll put it up to your mouth and you'll kind of hum toot toot into the open end. And you'll want to make that wax paper vibrate like a kazoo. So it might take a couple of tries to get the technique, but I know you can do it. You can go doo, doo. Oh, see, it didn't work that second time. Let's try again. Doo, doo. There you go. So if you just um, blow into it, it doesn't work. You kind of have to hum. There you go. So thanks for joining me for this episode of Storytime Shorts. We'll see you next month. And in the meantime, keep reading, keep singing, keep rhyming, keep learning, and toot along. Doo -doo.